How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. Um, I know this is a pretty crude setup right here, uh, but the thing is, this is my new office. Um, and the reason I'm filming like this, standing up in front of the door, is because I haven't finished unpacking yet and I don't really have anything set up. Uh, but in the coming weeks, that will change. But first off, before I do the, the post game here, uh, something that I want to say while it's on the top of my mind is this. To all you Irish fans out there, and I'm not talking about any fans of any other teams or, or any, any of the sort. I'm talking specifically Notre Dame fans. To all of you Irish fans out there who are saying right now, Oh, well, we're going to get killed by Georgia next week. We don't stand a chance. Well, you know what? Turn in your fan card, don't watch, and go cheer for another damn team. That's all I can say. Because all throughout the game, mainly just in the first half, uh, well, a quarter and a half anyway. Um, I'm reading places like uh, the, the Notre Dame football Facebook page. Not everybody, but a lot of fair weather negative fans. I mean, it was unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Book has a bad first series. Oh, well, get rid of him. Put in Dracovic. How about you give the guy more than just one freaking drive? But... Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. To all you fair weather Irish fans out there, if you're just saying that we're gonna get we're automatically gonna lose next week against Georgia, go cheer for another team. We want nothing to do with you. Us true fans, that is. So, with that said, let's get to uh breaking down this game today. Um, great win. Uh the final score is definitely what I love to see. Notre Dame 66, New Mexico 14. Um not a whole not many bad things to say about this one. Um, a lot of it, a lot of it was great. Ian Book had a very rough start this one, but he picked it up in the the second quarter and, the, and into the second half. Did a great job. Um, Javon McKinley breakout day for him. Uh, a couple nice catches. The real nice touchdown catch. Loved it. Breaking tackles left and right. It was awesome. Um, um, uh, Chase Claypool. I'm sorry. I'm, I hate when I get tongue tied, guys. But Chase Claypool had another great day. Couple of touchdowns. One on a wide open catch. Loved it. Um, Chris Fink getting involved. Um, Avery Davis. Avery Davis, who was a backup cornerback, now back on offense playing running back for us, um, contributes with a nice. Uh, I think it was like a 65 yard touchdown catch on a little uh, little flip or a little uh, you know what do you call it? like a shovel pass on a jet sweep. It was really nice to see. So contri contributions all over the place in this one. But most importantly, it was really nice to see, even though it took, uh, you know, a quarter and a half to get going, it was nice to see Ian Book calm down and put some more trust in his teammates today. Um, so that was a big, a big time positive. Uh, the defense, <laughs> Kyle Hamilton, Stepping up big, getting the pick six, uh, of course, with, with uh, the tip from Dalen Hayes. Um, but it's nice to see a, a freshman making some big plays like that. It was awesome. But overall, the defensive performance was outstanding. Outstanding. And really, you know, just one touchdown in the first half. The second touchdown they gave up coming in pretty much garbage time. Um, overall, a phenomenal performance. Uh, the miss the missed tackles were greatly limited, so you can tell they were definitely doing a lot of work on 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 that this past week. But big time improvement. Um, few negatives, and I I hate to uh, you know when when you win sixty six to fourteen, you hate talking about negatives, but you have to address them. Uh, you, you have to address the elephant in the room. Um, the first negative that I noticed was our offensive line today, and I know. Uh, the commentators, they were talking about how great our offensive line is. And there is some talent on that offensive line. Don't get me wrong. These guys are talented players. But today was not a good performance. It really wasn't. I mean, missed blocks. Uh, very, very sloppy play. And I'm telling you right now, if, if our offensive line does that next week against Georgia, Ian Book and our running backs are going to get killed. But, you know, our guards... Uh, on you know the pole blocks, missing them, um, not being able to give Ian Book enough time at, at different times of the game, um, and the second negative that uh, and it actually relates to the offensive line, our running backs were 
nowhere to be found today. Didn't hear a peep out of them. And that's alarming. But of course, you know, if, if the O-line's not doing their job and opening up the holes, you're not going to get much production out of, your running, out of your running game. I mean, really, our biggest running game came from Ian Book, Phil Dracovic, and uh, third stringer, his name. <laughs> the game just got over with like 30 minutes ago, but our third stringer's name is skipping my mind. I apologize. But our running game came from our quarterbacks. And when, so when your running backs are contributing virtually nothing, that's not good. But of course, like I said, it goes all the way, it goes back to the offensive line being needing to do their job and open up the holes, which was not happening, which was not happening today. And the concerning part is this is New Mexico. This is they were they were struggling against New Mexico. Well, guess what? Next week you got Georgia, the number three team in the nation, could possibly rise up a spot. Who knows? Depending on what happens, but. Uh, I think it'll be a, a seven versus three matchup, but uh, our line performs like that against Georgia. It's going to be a long ass night. Um, so that O line, and they're they're good. There's some talent there, but they have to step it up. Can't have another performance like this again, or else we're going to be in trouble. But but uh, I guess the third concern would be getting off to a slow start. Um, you know, the first quarter and a half, I mean, our only score was the uh, the Hamilton pick six. And, you know, when you're having a hard time getting going against a team like New Mexico, who has been struggling for quite a while, that's concerning. And then when we, when we finally do get our first offensive touchdown of the game, it takes us all the way down to a fourth and goal on the one. And don't get me wrong, I'm not bitching about a touchdown, but you shouldn't have to struggle against a a team like New Mexico on the goal line to put the ball into the end zone. So that was alarming. That was very alarming. Um, so got to step it up for next week. I mean, next week we keep making these mistakes. It's not going to be pretty. So, but the good news is I think we got a lot of this stuff out of our system. Now we can focus on the big one coming up next week. Um, but despite the concerns, we definitely took a lot of steps forward in this game today against New Mexico. I mean, I predict, predicted us to put up, what, 45 points? We put up 66. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, so definitely shows that the talent is there. We're capable of putting away the opponents that we are supposed to. Um, but again, just the small things like, you know, the play from your, the poor play from your offensive line, the slow start, um, you know, your running game from your running backs not being there, you got to have those things to, to succeed. And we didn't have that today. Uh, so, so yeah, guys, I could keep saying the same thing over and over. But, uh, yeah, next week being the big one down in Athens for the Georgia Bulldogs. And uh, got my bag here ready to go. And as soon as I'm done uploading this video, I am hitting the road down south. So uh, I'll be down there for a, a good week, and uh, I'll have a lot of cool things in store for you guys. So until next week, down, down south in, in Georgia, I'll catch you guys later. All of you, I say God bless, and go Irish!